They are angry at Bronny James because he took a white girl to prom. And these are the people that tell us that we are racist. Like it's asinine. It was all a dream. I used to read Seventeen magazine. Bunch of white girls going to prom in the limousine. White girls love black penis. They want the tan skin. They want the weave, the big titties, the big ass. Can we please have our race back? Says the bitch with the blonde hair. <laughs> When I walk by a black guy, I get like scared that their giant dick is just gonna like hit me in the arm. You want the stereotype with the big dicks though. That's, that's a good, you keep that one. Black penis. You think you want a big dick, but then it's like when you get an ice cream cone with too many scoops on it. You're just like, how the fuck am I gonna get this all in my mouth? So you do the only thing you can do. Your muffs. Little licks. Oh, what the fuck? You don't need all that dick. Penis. I actually had a good friend in LA. I was staying at her house and we were watching CNN or something before the last election. And she's like, you know, me and my whole family vote for Trump. And I, I thought, she's a crazy person. And I literally thought I probably can't be friends with this person anymore. That means she's evil, she's a bad human. Like, I was like, are you guys like racist? Knowing her boyfriend is a black man, I thought it was weird. Knowing her boyfriend is a black man. Oh. What do you mean by that? And Eventually I realized, oh no, her family just owns a bunch of businesses and employs a lot of people. Oh, okay, that makes sense for them why they would support him. And then I started to see the unraveling of all the things I've been taught. You go to enough parties in Hollywood, you learn they're all douchebags. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Bronny is about to graduate, so this is his last prom, and he took a girl named Peyton. She is 19, she went to high school with him, they went to prom together last year as well, but she is a year older than him. She just finished her freshman year at SMU where she's an honor student in Dallas. And here's the picture that went viral, like they look great. But then I started seeing the comments. They are angry at Bronny James because he took a white girl to prom. And these are the people that tell us that we are racist, like it's Asinine. The Daily Loud post about them has over 60 million views. Prom, guys, it's about prom. Now, one person photoshopped them into the Get Out poster, <laughs> which is just so bad. If you guys have seen Jordan Peele's Get Out, you get it. Somebody said, Bronny is an equal opportunist. Another person said, Le Snow Bronny, because snow bunnies. Mm. Somebody else said, damn, he sold out early. It's not selling out to go to prom with who you want. It's not selling out to date somebody of another race. I thought that's what we had been fighting for, for years now, for decades. He went to prom with her last year as well. And apparently the same thing happened in 2022. This is the second iteration of this. People are angry at him again. Robert Griffin III came to his defense last year with this video and it kind of sums up how I feel. So I want to feature this because it's very on point. Ronnie James upset a lot of miserable people tonight because he decided to take a white girl to prom as his date. First of all, it's 2022. What's wrong with that? They're being racist towards this young woman who has done nothing wrong. We have literally gone back in time. We are resegregating our society every single day. And these people don't understand that it's wrong or they simply do not care. It actually reminds me a lot of modern day feminism because it's the same logic, but applied to race. It's really unfair. It's really unfair. All right, what up guys? Welcome to the Just Pearly Things YouTube channel. And welcome to Morning Coffee Thoughts where I give my thoughts over morning coffee. I'm gonna I'm gonna preface by saying the life of a man is absolutely harder. Hey, well, this is what you said. You said what's so special about me? Most women aren't special. Well, that's like, down why, to your what, personal no, opinion. No, I'm like seriously. What what do women bring in 2022 that is special? Nothing. Do most women have a cookbook? Do most women really know how to cater to a man? No. Are most women virgins on their wedding day? No. So what, what do most women bring in 2022 that is special? But why is it all about what we can offer? Why is it always because, about what we can bring? Okay, because, about our values? Beca because because when, when you're talking, when you're trying to sell a car, if you're trying to get married, right? And I, please, I'm not saying that women are cars. It's just an analogy. <laughs> but if you're trying to sell a car, you have to study the buyer and figure out what the buyers For want. Sure. The interview you did with your sister and you, you were doing like the men that you were attracted to as a teenager, like early 2000s men. 
Yeah. And a lot of her yeses were just clinging on the black men. I was like, interesting. And of course, you picked up <laughs> one or two. I was like, man, the, the black men keep getting some love over here. Um, do you have a preference between black men and white men? And does that fall into, like, is there a, a certain situation where you might pursue one or the other, and re especially in regards to your height, um, but also in relation to personality traits? Um, I, I've dated mostly black guys. Ah, see, your boy is on 10 with it, see? <laughs> is there a reason for that? Have you delved into that that reasoning? The reasoning? Um, I don't know. I think part of it is, like, I feel like black guys are usually more extroverted. Mm. And, like, I like extroverted. I like talkers. I'm a chit-chatter. I get along with chit-chatters. Right. Um, one. And then two, I don't know. I just like, like, I think black guys have very nice smiles because it, like, looks, mm -hmm. like, whiter, to be honest. Oh, the contrast, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's real. Have you ever discussed with your parents that, that certain attraction that you have? Oh, yeah, they know. They don't care. <laughs> interesting. interesting. That don't matter. That don't matter. Time. I'm telling you, the real history of the Democratic Party is a dangerous history, and they don't want you to know about that. You know what the thing is that people are attacking Billy and I about the most? Is that they actually think that I'm holding Billy hostage and forcing him to say these things. Because no black man could think for himself. A white woman has to think for him. I mean, honestly, you people need to get a life. You know, this is an alpha male who was in the military 24 years and did 11 tours. And you think that some little white woman is going to be able to tell him what to say. You people are pathetic, honestly. It's hilarious. Sensational. Her smile is pretty valid. Valid? You're willing to espouse views that the world finds shocking. I could not see a single European face. Assimilate or go home. We're in a new age of nationalism, and we're certainly in a new age of what it means to be right wing. The thing I want to talk about today is the Great Replacement. The Great Replacement is a term coined by French writer Renaud Camus referring to what he views as the irreversible overthrow of France and its culture by Muslim immigrants from the Middle East and North Africa. The Great Replacement is a very simple concept. You have one people, and in the space of a single generation, you have a different people. A few inches later... This woman is not who she say she really is. They started off on 4chan and Reddit saying they're going to purge a lot of these women out of the alt-right. Here, Lauren Southern is taking pictures with a black guy. Oh boy. Now just the optics of that dark melanated brother. Oh boy. That's all they needed to see. H having that brother around her just crush all their little wet dreams. And I just think it's funny. Then you have as Lauren Southern. The fact you feel no shame for what you did speaks volumes about who you really are. Your current boyfriend is not white. I, I don't think it would be endearing to put such an emphasis on that, you know, because it doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is he's the best person I've ever met. Like, he would watch this and be like, why would you make that a thing? Sure. You know, because it's not, it's not, it doesn't matter. <laughs> sure. You shouldn't have been talking shit. <laughs>